unboxing the newest and first 5G smartphone from Poco's M series. Hey guys, it's your Tagal Mary and welcome back to my channel. Today, we will be talking about the newest Poco M3 Pro. I'm actually quite excited but curious at the same time on what this phone can offer since it's their very first phone guys nagagamit ng MediaTek. And we all know when we say value for money, one of the brands that will come up to my mind talaga is of course the brand Poco. So without further ado, let us now proceed to our unboxing. It's your usual Poco packaging. It's all yellow with of course the very subtle branding in the middle. With Poco M3 Pro 5G on the side and of course sa ilalim ang nakalagay with easy access to Google Apps you use most. Before ko makalimutan, the variant that we have right now is the 6GB RAM with 128GB of internal storage and yung kulay natin ay yung black. Of course, I want the yellow one or yung blue na meron tayo but unfortunately, ang dumating sa atin ay yung black. So we got this smaller box and inside, let's see kung ano ang laman. Of course, we have yung ating panundot or the SIM ejector tool. The unit that we have is, of course, the retail unit already. So, expect nyo na na yung mga laman sa box natin ngayon ay yung mga makukuha nyo kapag bumili na kayo. Meron tayong paperworks and, of course, the Poco stickers. Take note, guys, unboxing and first impressions pa lang ito. So, I don't really have that much experience with the phone since kakakuha ko nga lang siya today. At syempre, ang ating jelly case. Beneath that, we have the phone itself, of course, and ito yung mga key features na dapat nyong malaman, which is, of course, the chipset that is being used, MediaTek Dimensity 700 with dual 5G support, with 90Hz Full HD Plus display, a large 5000mAh battery capacity, and, of course, a 48 megapixel triple camera setup. We got our 18W fast charging power brick and the USB Type-C charging cable. To be specific, ang tawag sa kulay na ito ay power black. And actually, if you guys are not into black, meron pa siyang ibang kulay katulad ng yellow and blue. So, let's have a very quick phone tour. Sa ibabaw, meron tayong headphone jack, meron tayong IR blaster, the secondary microphone, and I'm not sure guys, pero I think this is a light sensor. On the right, we have of course the volume rocker and the power button that doubles as a side-mounted fingerprint sensor. Sa kaliwa niya, nandito located ang ating SIM tray. Meron tayong hybrid SIM tray dito. You have a choice kung dalawang SIM card ang lalagay nyo or kaya naman isang SIM card at isang micro SD card. Do take note, meron naman din siyang rubber gasket sa gilid ng kanyang SIM tray for, you know, extra protection when it comes to some splashes of water. huling huli sa ilalim meron tayong isa pang microphone, USB Type-C port, at yung kanyang speaker. Okay, so design-wise, actually, it's a phone na very prone to fingerprint. And makakita nyo naman, puro smudges na yung ating phone. Glossy talaga yung likod niya. And it's the type of glossy finish, guys, na unting dampi lang ng kamay nyo. Talagang kitang-kita nyo na yung dumi. So I suggest, in case that the yellow or the blue one is available here in the Philippines, go for those colors para hindi masyadong obvious yung dumi. Or kaya naman, lagyan nyo na lang ng jelly case para tapos na ang problema nyo, ba? For a closer look, meron siyang very subtle Poco branding. Maliit lang naman siya and it's located sa ilalim ng camera setup niya. At kung mapapansin nyo, maliit lang yung pinaka-camera housing niya pero may illusion siya na kung titignan nyo sa malayo, mukha siyang may mahabang camera setup. Medyo may kabigatan yung device. It weighs 190 grams to be exact pero not too heavy naman kasi alam naman natin na kapag ang mga smartphone lumalabas ng 200 grams, medyo nakakangalay at masakit na of course mabaksakan sa mukha. So 190 grams still acceptable. Upon reading the specific here guys, walang sinabi kung glass siya or hindi pero upon checking, I think it's not glass. It's very plasticky but on the brighter side naman for the display, it's made of Corning Gorilla Glass 3. So we still have some sort of protection. Now, speaking of its display, meron tayong 6.5 inches of Full HD Plus LCD dot display na merong 90Hz refresh rate. Actually, for my first impressions, nung paglabas ng phone sa box, una ko agad gustong alamin kung ito ay AMOLED display or hindi. And hindi ko pa alam yung specs niya. Tinignan ko yung display, akala ko talaga AMOLED siya. Ganun ko nagustuhan yung display na meron tayo dito sa Poco M3 Pro. Ganun siya ka-vibrant. Probably it's because of the wallpaper, but yeah, the blacks fooled me a little bit. Out of the box, of course, naka-regular standard refresh rate siya para makapag-save tayo ng battery. So, you have to go to the settings, 
to activate the 90 hertz refresh rate. It also has a dynamic refresh rate switching with of course a punch hole sa ibabaw bandang gitna. And by the way, yung ating front camera ay 8 of megapixels. Now since we are talking about the camera, pag-usapan na natin yung kanyang rear camera setup. Meron tayong 48 megapixel para sa kanyang main camera, a 2 megapixel macro camera, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. So we have your typical, you know, triple camera setup that we usually get from a higher budget phone to mid-range devices. So yes, hindi po porket meron tayong pro name or pro branding, ay ibig sabihin nun ay very pro phone na yung meron tayo na kayang lumaban on the flagship lineup. So yes, wag tayo masyadong ma-confuse when it comes to its naming. So let me give you a very quick camera tour. While opening the application, of course, we have the photo mode. On the right, we have the portrait mode wherein we can adjust the bokeh from f1.0 to f 16. We can also use the beautify and, you know, choose a few filters. Going sa more menu niya, meron tayong night mode, of course, a 48 megapixel option, the short video, panorama, slow motion, and time lapse. When it comes to the night mode, pwede natin magamit ang night mode using the main 48 megapixel camera but not on the 8 megapixel front camera. On to the video mode, pwede tayo mag-shoot hanggang 1080 at 30 fps, including the front camera. And lastly, of course, we have the pro mode. Sa so, ibabaw, on to the upper right most, meron tayong parang lines. Ito, meron pa tayong iba pang menu katulad ng settings. Movie frame, grid lines, macro mode, tilt shift, and timed burst. Of course, we also have filters for the main camera, AI camera, HDRA and HDR, and of course, the flash. So guys, let me share with you yung mga photos that I took using the Poco M3 5G today. And then let me know your opinion about the photos and kung may mga questions kaya about it. And I'll be answering... chipset na ginamit dito sa Poco M3 Pro 5G. To those who are not aware, or to those who are their first time na marinig itong chipset na to, guys, hindi siya bago. Ginamit ito ng ibang brands. But, I think this is the first time na ginamit ito ng Poco series. Ulitin ko, it has the MediaTek Dimensity 700 na mayroong 7 nanometer processor, octa-core CPU up to 2.2 GHz, and of course, again, we have a 6 GB RAM na mayroong 128 GB of UFS 2.2 storage. And bago ko makalimutan sabihin guys, it already has the latest MIUI 12 based on Android 11. But according to Poco, ito yung leading 7 nanometer processor nila that offers a flagship level experience and power efficiency. Actually, I'm very curious on what the MediaTek Dimensity 700 can offer kasi nga guys, first time kong magagamit itong klase ng chipset na ito on any smartphone that I've tried. So far, in terms of multitasking, it's a pretty decent chipset that performs really well in terms of social media use or from switching between applications. By the way, correct ka lang kanina guys, I mentioned na yung power brick na kasama sa loob ng box niya ay 18 watt. It's actually 22.5 watt yung power brick na kasama sa box but the phone is only capable up to 18 watt of fast charging. Anyway, since we are already talking about charging, kanina guys na mention ko na meron nga siyang 5000 mAh battery capacity which is actually quite reasonable kung bakit medyo may kabigatan yung device. According to Poco, meron tayong dalawang klase ng variants that will be available in the market. It's either the 4GB RAM or the 6GB of RAM. And nag-upgrade kung mapapansin nyo yung kanyang storage from 2.1, we now have a 2.2. So meaning mas magiging efficient at mabilis ang ating reading and writing. And trivia lang, alam nyo ba guys, na first time rin yata ng Poco na maglagay ng higher refresh rate on their M series. So yes, I'm very curious talaga guys on what the Poco M3 Pro 5G will offer me on the following days which is why guys kaya dapat abangan nyo yung ating full review and of course it's official retail price here in the Philippines and and of course para maraman na rin natin if it will be released here in the Philippines or not pero feeling ko marirelease naman siya guys siguro antay lang tayo ng after 1 to 2 weeks 
So overall guys, for me, Poco M3 Pro 5G is probably, you know, one of the phones that I can recommend in terms of smartphones na magandang gamitin for your everyday use. It may not have an AMOLED display, but I really appreciate this phone for having a higher refresh rate and of course, a 5G ready chipset. Anyway, early verdict pa lang din naman natin ito. So yes, that is it for our Poco M3 Pro 5G unboxing and hands-on video. So do take note, this is just my first impressions if kulang, kasi nga, hindi pa siya review. Again, it's Ritaka Mary, and see you on my next video. Bye, guys!